Lexi and today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me hope you guys enjoy this video if you do make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new here make sure to subscribe I'm gonna start uploading videos every Friday I think so quick FYI I do my makeup in the most randomest order this is how I prefer to do it so yeah so first off, I'm starting with this Pond's face lotion that I'm just going to apply all over my face and making sure to blend it down to your neck. And then I'm going to go in with the Tarte Foundation in the shade Medium Honey. And I am spraying my Beauty Blender with the Urban Decay Quick Fix. And I really like this because it smells like coconut and it's just so good. And yeah, I'm just going to blend that all over my face. Next, I'm actually going to be contouring with my Jordana Sculpt and Go stick. And I really like this stick because it's super creamy and super inexpensive. You get it at any drugstore near you. And it works just as well as any other contour. I mean, Kim Kardashian is shaking right now. <laughs> just kidding, she's fine. And then I like taking just a little bit and applying it onto the crease of my lids just so it enhances that crease. Why can I say enhances? Like I said, enhances. Oh my gosh. And then I'm going to take this foundation brush and I'm just going to blend it all out. Then I'm just going to apply some Urban Decay Primer onto my eyelids and then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. Taking my Morphe 350 palette and this fluffy brush, we're just going to take these two colors together combined and then we're going to apply that onto the crease and just kind of buff it out so it could be our transition color. Then I'm going to be using this Kylie palette today, the Royal Peach palette. Love this palette. It's so pigmented. And I'm actually using the color Peachy from this palette. And I'm just applying that onto the outer corners of my eyelids, blending that into the crease. Taking the color Sorbet, we're just going to apply that above the crease, blending all the colors together. And going back to the Morphe 350 palette, I'm taking this reddish brown on the bottom row and I'm applying that just to the crease just to really enhance it and make it stand out because this will give it that extra oomph. You know what I mean? Also following this, I like to take it and just create a wing liner effect. With this peachy nude color, um, I'm just going to apply that to the inner corners on the center of my lid. Kind of creating like a cut crease effect. Not exactly a cut crease, but it'll do. Then taking my Kat Von D Locket Concealer, I'm just going to apply this under my eyes in a triangle manner. And then I'm going to apply on the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and forehead last. Also, I must say, if you're looking for full coverage, this concealer does the trick. It honestly covers up my under eye circles so well, and I love this stuff. It's super blendable, super creamy, and I would definitely recommend it. After using the concealer brush, I like to go in with a beauty blender just because brushes could sometimes leave it looking streaky, and I do not want that. And then I'm taking my favorite eyeliner of all time. It's the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Liner. Next is my favorite part. I'm going to be taking my Duo Lash Glue and my Ardell Faux Lashes. These work just as well as any others, and I love this step, to be honest. And it changes my whole look. Then I'm taking my Bare Minerals Face Powder, and I'm just going to apply that all over. Next, I'm going to take my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, and I'm just going to follow the same steps as where I had put my contour.
Once that is done, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. translucent powder and I'm just gonna place that in all the areas where I want it to stay put, which is under my eyes, basically my T-zone, um, on my forehead, my nose, and then I like to place it um, on my frown lines as well because I get really oily right there and I start losing makeup throughout the day right there. So putting it here really helps set it in all day. Then taking my California blush by Benefit, I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks, blending that upwards. Then I'm going to be applying Champagne Pop right above the blush. Look at that packaging, I'm living. Um, anyways. <laughs> Now I will be applying this Stella Glitter in the shade Kitten Karma to the inner corners of my eyes. Then going back with my Kylie palette, I'm going to be applying that same color we used on top to my lower lash line. So that's pretty much it for my makeup. So now it's time to tame this crazy hair that I have going on, honestly. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Did my hair. I kind of wet it a little just because I felt like the curls were a little crazy. I feel like it looks the way it was before, but whatever put some of this mac often gentle on top of it just i usually go with becca but i'm trying this one today yeah look at that that looks better my skin's already pretty tan and bronze just from the sun so like putting this on top of it makes me look like i'm glowing and i'm like this pretty bronze color mm, did you see that oh yeah then again on the other shoulder girl. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.